Hi everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. This is our Napoleon France run. Speaking of Napoleon, he didn't look quite like I expected. I, I don't know, I, I suppose I was expecting Napoleon Bonaparte to come in with his fancy coat and his hand tucked inside it, but that's obviously stupid. Uh, but this is Napoleon VI, apparently the heir to the French Empire. Hmm, somewhat removed. Anyway, uh, we have stuff to do. We need to get our non-aligned faction up. Uh, we, want to, we want to be in the, the majority here. Improves things a little bit. We have some debuffs to get rid of. Uh, we have some economy to improve. We have an army to build. And we have a Europe to conquer. So let's get started. We'll look at a little bit of housekeeping first. We've, we're developing... Oh, what's this? These are our screens. Okay, fair enough. This is fine. Let's queue up a few things. Sub-detection and depth charges. Yes, definitely. Let's put that... Uh, into there for when we start developing new destroyers. In fact, that's more sub-detection. Let's start locking these in, I think. And max speed. I like the sound of all this. And let's take anti-air. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Anti-air and light attack is quite useful. Do we want light attack or more anti-air? I will go... I think I'll go light attack, actually. And then let's put these in here. So that should be the end of that. Perfect. Brilliant. Do we have any more? Yeah, we have a medium tank designer to do, so let's uh, stock these up as well. I think, I mean, breakthrough's always good. More breakthrough's always good. Production output's good. Would we take piercing or would we take hard attack? I'm not sure. I don't think piercing's ever a problem. I'm going to take hard attack. Can we get both? Oh, they're not mutually exclusive? Excellent. We'll do both then. Production output... That's a choice. Okay, would we like uh, reliability or would we like max speed? Oh, I think we'll take max speed. Thank you very much. We can get reliability from other means easier, uh, but I will take some reliability. And finally, we've got the option of armor, defense, or breakthrough. I'll take breakthrough. Excellent. That should be done off there. Is there some more? There, sh there can't be any more. It's at level one. Oh, we have a trait point to spend. Should I just put it in there now? Good, that hasn't reset anything, has it? No, good. That's That looks like that's updated. Cool, excellent. That's what we like to see. Then we don't need to f worry about that for the rest of the game, which is going to be awesome. Let's get things ticking over now that that's working up. Now, we also have a couple of things. I need to build up some command points. So thanks for the reminder, by the way. Someone did actually remind me in the comments. I appreciate that. I've made a note of it. So luckily, though, when you really load the game in, if, P if, if generals have perks to assign, this starts flashing up to remind us. So that, that is actually super useful. Thank you, Paradox, for doing something that uh, does help me out a little bit. So we'll wait until we've got the command points. And we also have to get some rubber production going. Grow rubber plantations in Madagascar. It's only three civilian factories. It is six months, but it'll give us a supply of rubber down here, which is going to be worth holding on to. So we need some... We basically need some, uh, some foreign garrisons building up. I don't know how important it is to hold this area... There are some supplies that come in. Madagascar is going to be the main rubber producer. See, that's not even in the French Empire. If we get one from there. And I, I don't see anything else of much value. Oh, there's a bit in here. Okay, so these are worth holding on to. Fourth International. We've got more communism stuff. Oh, was that communism stuff? We don't like the communism stuff. Anti-communist raids. Well, we need to work that down anyway. So I think at that point, we're okay. So let's start speeding up a bit and let's get caught up. We don't want to get caught out by any attacks. So there's a few things we want to do. We've got the motorization focus, which gives us truck production cost is reduced. Excellent. Should we go mechanized focus? We are going to want mechanized. Uh, we're going to work that up and get it in our medium tank divisions pretty quick. Do I want stability at this point? I'm looking for like cool things that we can do. Gains core on um, some places in North Africa there. That sounds awesome. Let's have a look. Any owned state is not in Europe. It's not a core of the French Empire. Add expanded system which grants non-core manpower. That, that sounds very useful indeed. There's all sorts of things. I don't want to go down this yet, but there's nothing else that we can really achieve down this side. So uh, the air focus. Air bases, air experience. Oh, God. There's... What have we got in the way of industry, by the way, in this? There is some. It's not awesome, 
but I mean, there is some. It does, it actually, if we spend it all, it does actually come good later on. But we're going to try and build our own industry up as much as we can. Do I want to ban communism now? Remove political violence. It, it does have a small penalty on... Do you know what? Let's get rid of communism. That's going to get rid of the political violence that we've got kicking off here. Which one is that? This uh, communist and far-right extremist leagues are always ready to resort to violence to advance their political cause. We're going to have a small stability hit, but we can, we can overwrite that. And let's just get rid of it now. The Japanese shogunate declared war on communist China. Well, good for them. Good for them, I say. Let's see how well that goes. Nice, we've got infantry coming on board. Who do we want? I'm trying to work out which unit is the one to put these in. Because those colours don't match up. It's this brown one. That's the key thing. Japanese shogunate declared war on China. While that's going on, let me just slow this down a bit. I've had a plan. So these guys on the Maginot line, we're going to change this template and we're going to make these as just our sort of reserve divisions. This is going to free up a load of manpower, which is great, and free up a load of artillery as well. They should be able to hold, because these are like level 10 forts in this place. I think they're level 10 forts, aren't they? They are level 10 forts on the Maginot line. So that should be more than enough to hold. That right. frees up our manpower for training other things up. I will put a couple more of these divisions in. I've got some more in training that we were using as garrisons. So we want we want at least two in one location and I think that should be enough to hold. If Germany decides to come a knock in. I don't know that they will. We shall see. Looks like we have a few of these guys coming on. Excellent stuff. Oh, I don't need all eight. Uh, let's put half in. Perfect. Yes. Well done. And so, does that leave us... Ooh, that, does that leave us some free troops? Oh, I tell you what it does leave us with. It leaves us with an army down here, which absolutely needs to be reinforced. So, uh, at the moment, I've got all my motorized troops in there. We are doing those. Oh, I thought we had some more of these coming on. Okay. I wonder if, I, I wonder if we did, and I've just accidentally put them somewhere else, so... <laughs> we will need some of those anyway, so that's that's fine. Let's get them coming out, and they're for garrison duties and other things. Have I messed this up? Let me just check. Attention. No, they they're what they're supposed to be. They all look correct on the line against Gardez Belgium. Bon. That's correct. And this bon. is on the line against Spain, which I'm hoping is going to be absolutely fine, and not not a concern at all. So, yeah, optimism, blind optimism. What are we building in here? We've got military factories coming on. Excellent. What are they going into? Which is kind of important. We have a nice reserve of infantry equipment now. We have some basic tanks. We've got some crappy Citroen trucks. And when I say that, no offense to uh, Citroen owners. These are the early Citroen trucks. We want the better Citroen trucks for when we actually start doing anything important. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three out of that. And let's start building up some aircraft. So we want the interwar naval bomber. Do we not have anything better than this? The interwar close support airframe. The interwar small airframe. Huh. We need to get something a bit better than this. Uh, but, I mean, interwar naval bombers. Swordfish. British um, Air Force and Royal Navy. They, they worked. Uh, they worked. So let's, let's put those in. I'm thinking of defending our coast and, of course, the channel for when we when we go over the channel. So this is going to be one of the first things that we uh, upgrade. Hello. Hello. There seems to be a lot of ships getting refit there. Uh, let's put you above those. And I'll put three factories on that for that job at the moment. We have the improved engine. Excellent. And we have the improved armor protection. Okay. I can develop a basic medium tank. I'll take a couple of factories off. The naval bombers we just put in because I, I think the tanks are probably more important for us uh, what are we in we're in November 38 how are we doing over here that's in progress oh these are the better Citroen trucks okay Berlio trucks I've never heard of those so I do apologize um, so all Citroen owners we have the better Citroen trucks already I think we're getting a that looks like a unusual early half track but I guess we're getting a research bonus for those. So I will just pause the game while we do this. We've got several things to sort out all of a sudden. It's 
a little early for the better guns, but that's okay. Can we maybe work up this? Yes. All right, let's get... Let's get going on this so we can get our navy. Um, I will do the... I should probably do the raiding fleet, actually. There's all sorts of stuff in there. There's one for the escort fleet. It's probably best we do... Oh, screw it. Let's put it on that. Let's put it on that. Yeah, let's just power this through. And we want to get our destroyers. Then, at least if I can get up to level 1936 destroyers, then we're looking pretty good. So, we've banned communism. Excellent. This will give us stability right back. But I wasn't doing that, was I? I can live with that stability. Actually, that's not bad stability. Um, I would like... Where's our military stuff? Yeah, let's get the mechanized focus on, because I would like to get some early mechanized stuff out there. All right, okay, things uh, catching up nicely. Do we have anything new? Dominion of Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. Oh, okay. Interesting. Australia wants nothing to do with the UK. Shall we change over? No, we're on this. We can't get any more. Um, that's because we've got these negative things on here. We need to fix that. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden we have a lot of things catching up on us here. The export focus is pretty much where it should be, I think. Early mobilization, we can't change off. Is there anyone good we can put in here? As I say, I don't want democratic reformer. Is there no imperial people we can put in? I don't see anything fun we can put in here at the moment, which is a shame. Improve relations. Silent, silent workhorse for political power might not be a terrible idea. Queen Maud of Norway has died. I will send them my commiserations. Research speed and civilian factory construction speed. That's not bad. It's not bad. I might put in the chief of the navy, which isn't going to be a bad idea either. So decisive battle. There's a lot of good stuff there. Commerce raiding. What's the daily experience? 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Um, okay, either of these ones are quite good. Capital ship attack, screen attack and defense. Convoy raiding efficiency and naval experience. I do you know what? I'm just going to go for the decisive battle one. We have a big fleet. I'm going to put some points in there to, to help that. Okay, we have, we better just pause this because now we need to do something serious. Um, let's take a two, one factory out of there and we're going to go and build our tanks with 81 experience. That is enough. So this is basic early medium tanks. These are going to be basic. I was going to say bad, but that's, that's not fair. Actually, the French at the start of World War II, they actually had some good tanks. Their heavy tanks were some of the best in Europe at the time. The, the, they weren't as well maintained as they should be and they did have some mechanical issues but their combat performance was actually excellent that was the Char B1 I think the big heavy one that they had um, yeah it's pretty dangerous to any German armour it just uh, it just wasn't where it needed to be when it needed to be there that was the problem so we'll leave that as, as it is let's go for the medium turret we'll go for a three man turret we want some proper tanks here medium armaments medium is that all we've got? A medium howitzer. I guess it's early days. We don't have any anti-tank <laughs> product whatsoever. It's something we can put in, right? And this is kind of what they used. So that's fine. 75 millimeter howitzer. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Do we want welded? That's going to use some chromium, which I think we have some of. Or we go cast armor for production cost. I'm going to go chromium. And I, I think we've got some. Uh, let's have a look. We will go with... I'll probably put diesel engine in. I'm not expecting these to be fast, but I want the reliability up. And we could put Christie suspension just to help with the speed a little bit. And then what else can we put in? We need a radio. Always need a radio. And I usually like to put fuel drums. And we could put... We could put sloped armor. Armor goes from 39 to 46. I don't know whether it's worth it for these. Production cost plus 10%. For the early stuff that we're going to meet, no. But I will put additional machine guns on because I think that's going to be worth it. So it's not too expensive to build. Uh, let me see. Can we get... The reliability is not great and the speed really isn't great. And that's with a flipping one of those. What I could do for reliability, actually is we could put wet ammunition storage for 15% reliability. That's nice. And then we can put the speed up 
Can I get it up to six at least? One more. Six. 88%. I'll take that deal. Thank you very much. So, a bit more expensive than I wanted. The AMC 35 medium tank. We're going to use medium tank designer for all our tank projects here. And I should have just done that the quick way, but never mind. We'll get there. Definitely above the light tanks. We'll put three factories onto that job. And that's okay. We have enough chromium to support that. So we'll start building those up. Brilliant. We have things coming. Oh, and we have civilian factories. I think what we're going to go for is military factory production now. This seems to be quite important. Um, I, I will have some more civilians, though. Civilian factories are always useful. Uh, let's put three in there. In fact, just get that four in there. That's even better. Okay, we have a nice mix there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, that's back on top of things. No templates for the medium tanks. That's fine. We'll fix that. And equipment required for air reinforcements. Carry a naval bomber. We, we could do that. Okay, I'm going to say naval bomber is going to be next on our list of research priorities. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. We're back on top of things. I love the plotting and planning and building up before the big events. I am going to have to take a look into the focus tree and figure out what gets rid of that um, population problem. So that one gives us a bonus for light tank models, which is not so exciting, but it leads down to this, which is exciting. Uh, this gives, it gets rid of the victors of the Great War, which grants, it, this is a po problem for recruitable population, which is gonna fix. Uh, war support changes and land doctrine cost. Oh yes, that, that improves both of those. And we get a bonus for land doctrine, excellent. And the Hotchkiss industry, military industrial organization gets some funds. That's interesting. Okay, very good. So I think we want that, and then we'll see where we are. So I'm gonna, I am gonna power down to that. I said I was going to go. We should maybe get on with this one, but I did say I was gonna go for some. Oh, naval bombers, right? So if I go for the basic small airframe, we can then start churning out <clears throat> basic mediums. If I'm just going for naval bombers, we don't need long range ones at the moment. I'm gonna go for small because that will also give us access to good... Uh... Ooh, don't want to go for that. Or should I put them all in this? Let's, let's go all in this. And then let's see where we develop things later on. Because I'm thinking of this area and this area. And just it's just basically off our coast. So we, we want close range stuff. And with our limited research ability and limited industry, I think... That's going to be the way to go for now. We can change things later to stuff that's uh, perhaps more optimized. But uh, I think this is our current plan. I've just remembered, all right, we should have enough points for him at last. He was going to be... Oh, I thought he was supposed to be our aggressive one. He is our aggressive one. Hmm, I won't go for that then. I'll probably replace him with someone else, so let's... Panay incident. Okay, American British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft. Screw them. Let's go for organization first to get the reinforcement rate up. I need more command power. So who do you think's going to get into war with us first? I mean, we could go and declare war on someone. We could certainly declare war on Britain. That would take us to war with the Allies. Might not be a bad idea to do that before the United States jumps in and joins the Allies. I don't know. It's, it's something that's definitely worth thinking about. Right, we've got two of these. Attention. Let's put them into our Alpine army, Attention. which now should be strong enough with some Alpine forts and sitting in the mountains to hold off anything. So I'm going to take out Bye. those and put those into our strong and aggressive army over here. Excellent. This is like a fast response unit. We'll probably disband these. I don't think these are going to be much good, but we will use light tanks in our, um, certainly in some of our templates as reconnaissance vehicles. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's bring our reserve all the way to Paris then. This is something that we can deploy quickly to 
repel invasions and stuff if we have to. And also it's, it's going to be the core of our aggressive force when we, when we go for it. But so far, we are just protecting our borders. So let's have a look. The submarines are all upgraded. Excellent. Excellent. I would say send them fellas out and train and watch our fuel disappear. <laughs> I should maybe have done that in small doses. Yeah, let's, let's be sensible about that. Let's split those up. We could probably afford to send out maybe a couple at a time. Can we, can we do it like that? Yeah, we can. Smoke generators, excellent. Depth charge throwers, research with our... Hmm, I'll go for the escort fleet. I probably shouldn't split them up, but we're going to research lots of naval stuff, so it's, it's fine. We'll get there. So when those are done, we'll try and remember to go and train some more. And the fuel is kind of holding, so that's that's good. That's fine. Did our aeroplanes get trained? I'll just make sure you're trained up. We will develop some new, new aircraft as well. Good, that didn't take long. Do we have anything in stock that we can actually put straight in? We have some interwar naval bombers. I mean... We may as well get start getting trained up. Then we can just replace them with better aircraft when the option comes. Uh, excellent. Okay, so let's put a third one on there. And let's get some more medium tanks on the go. And we're also going to... The artillery's holding strong. This is looking better, but we need a good stock of infantry equipment. Excellent. We should have some more troops coming into the fray now as well. Yeah, they were we have a load of them. Excellent. So give me... Attention. Uh, where have they gone? Actually, just... just um, let me change this. I'm going to race down this and get rid of the army reform. So let's fix that first. 140 days. We're into 1939. I don't know what Germany's going to do. I mean, I really don't know Attention. what Germany's going to do, which is, which is a yeah, bit of an issue wrong. here. Uh, give me half of those and put those on the Maginot line. There. And these are the half. Yeah, they're going to go on to, I think, we'll just put them into the French garrison like this. Attention. You guys will definitely have enough. Train up. Yeah, and you guys on the line can train up. So the Maginot line should hold pretty strong if we get attacked. It's just, a, it's just an insurance policy, yeah, shall we say. Our line down there in the Alps could definitely be stronger. So let me get a few more infantry divisions on. Infantry divisions are always useful. Oof. Too much? Yeah, too much. <laughs> Way too much. But four more is going to be good. And we're going to have that looking a lot better soon. So, fingers crossed. It's going to be fine, he says. Um, what I might do is just disband the armoured brigades. Because if we look at the template for these guys here. I mean, it's, it's, that's awful. And this other one is not really much better. It's using up a lot of trucks. So I don't think they're going to be much good for anything, but we're going to leave them in there until we have some better division template to change them to. Did I get the mechanized focus? Excellent. So what we can do when one of these finishes, not the passive sonar, because I'm going to get passive sonar too, and then sonar, let's call it properly. By the, let's, let's, Mark, try and speak properly. Come on, you're, you're setting a bad example for English people here. We can speak English better than other countries can speak English, honest. Uh, I'm going to get passive sonar too, and then I can do my 1936 destroyers, just how I like them, because I think we've also, in the industry tab, we've got this. This allows us to do... I think this allows us to put the basic radar on destroyers. So for a 36 destroyer, that's fine. Um, by which point our dockyards, I think, should be starting to come round to uh, having something useful to produce in them. Nice. So we're getting that built up. We're going to develop a carrier naval bomber, carrier naval fighter. We don't need to make a lot of those, so we will make, we'll do a production run to get a few in stock and then leave it, I, I imagine. Okay, we have points again. Cool. D 
details. So I'll do this and then we're going to get onto the mechanized stuff, which is going to be awesome. Awesome it is. Modify the government. So we have this, which is looking fine. What have we got in the way of industrial concern? Oh, there's only one. A choice of one industrial research speed. We should probably go for that. Do you know what? No one else is really offering me any fantastic options. I'm going to take that. We can't do much else at the moment. How's the Navy going? Our submarines training. Uh, I'm guessing you're holding the thing up here. And put two more in. Okay. We'll move on. There's no point me going to war with anyone until I have a, an army that's, that's built up a little bit. And the Navy and the Air Force. I wonder what Britain's going to do. I wonder what Germany's going to do. Do you know what else we could do? We could actually build a spy agency. Let's create that and start getting some spies on the go. So the Ultra Mitralades, these are the ones that just give us the bonus to light tank research, right? Yeah, it's... Oh, no, it's light tank and medium tank models. Excellent. We can get on. We'll do the army reform, which is excellent, but we can suddenly jump that up and get some better medium tanks on the go pretty quickly. I think that's great news. Australia severs ties with Britain. In a hotly contested vote, a small majority in the Australian Parliament decided that the country should leave the British Empire. The last few remnants of British legal rule have been declared null and void. John Curtin has already signed the decision into law, thereby bypassing the long-standing legal tradition of royal assent being granted by the Governor-General and turning Australia into a fully sovereign nation. Parliament also voted to form a constitutional committee which will discuss and advise on changes that will be made to the constitution to remove all traces of British intervention into Australian affairs. Well, Britain's just got weaker. Soviet Lithuania rejects German demands. Even with German forces lined up on their border, Soviet Lithuania has rejected an ultimatum issued by Berlin for the return of territory of Memel. Do you know what? I, I think we should just let Germany go to war in the east, <laughs> leaving this bit totally empty for our forces, our French tanks, just to pile in. Uh, the fall of Nanjing. Okay, so I'm guessing Japan is... Okay, Japan's going at it over there. Hmm. What the hell is this? This... Who is this? This is the... I'm not pronouncing that. Something Bolshevik. <laughs> I don't know who that... What the... Leader of the SSSR. Is that... Soviet Socialist... I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's nothing to do with me, for now. We might come back to that at a later date. Do I want to become Spy Master? Do I want to... I guess we do. I guess we do. It's only for 30 days. I think I'll take the hit on these. And uh, yes, let's get some let's get some departments going. And we'll we'll be recruiting stuff as well. Excellent. We've got military factories coming online now. Uh what what are we going to need? Let me think about what we're really going to need. Oh, oh, we haven't got trains. So I'm going to put a basic one on the trains. And that can stay down there. But we are going to need those. Research slot available. Sonar's going. What did I say we were going to do? We do need weapons. We do need rifles. There was something else. I probably need to look in industry. Oh, it's okay. Industry is actually... Industry is good because we got those bonuses ahead of time, didn't we? So we were actually sorted for that, which, which is really nice. Radar station level three. Air. Was it air stuff? We were going to do that. Which is the one that gives us torpedoes? We've got basic torpedoes, right? We've got light torpedo mountings. Medium torpedo mountings. I th think... Is that for medium airframes? I'm guessing that's for medium airframes. Uh, what about the submarines? Submarines are okay. Right, that's all, that's all good. Oh, I know what I wanted. If we're going to do something else, this is going to give us... Basic high velocity cannon, basic heavy cannon, and anti tank cannon one. Enables medium cannon. So I think we might need to go down these. Let's get that. Medium tanks are going to be a goer. Okay. 
All right, when that's done, we can start developing our new, um, our new destroyers. So what have we got here? We've got, oh, this is still ruled by a junta, right? Italy's, <laughs> Italy's been ruled by committee at the moment. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go. We have the basic small airframe, which is good. We're going to start churning out some basic fighters. We could jump for that. There'll be a research thing that gives us a bonus to this, so I don't think we need to do that too fast. We can go for photo reconnaissance, which is useful. There's all sorts of things which is now getting useful. We Oh, this is what I wanted. I wanted the mechanized. I knew there was something that was playing on the back of my mind. Right. What have we got? We've got proper infantry. Just one? Attention. No, we've got we've got four. And then we're out of manpower. Gardez so bon. we've we've got we've got a nice army, including mountaineers, guarding the Alps. Uh but but that's it, unfortunately. Uh let us get the cryptology department. We have someone to recruit. Oh, that's nice. Well groomed. A well groomed seducer. <laughs> A French spy. I will take that. So what should we do? Shall we start producing an intel network? And I think we should. Let's go and do it in Germany. We'll get that on there. Let's go and... I mean, is Germany one of the ones I want to do first? Or is the UK? Do you know what? I think the UK is probably one of the ones we want to do first. Let's send it to London. They won't think anything of it at the moment. <laughs> 